The I-Team has confirmed that Arthur McCaden, one of the suspects in the deadly T-Mobile store shooting, was a student at Frederick Douglass High School. And McCaden and his 14-year-old That's brother both face murder charges for the incident. And as <laughs> I-Team reporter Barry Sims tells us, the two are also accused of armed robbery in New Jersey. We are outside of Sacred Heart of Jesus and St. Patrick Church. This is where Fabian Gonzalez was a member. His funeral will be held here. And this coming Sunday at 3, a March for Peace will also start right here. Now we want to tell you more about what police are telling us about the alleged suspects. We know it was an intent to rob the store, an intent to rob the other customers. Baltimore City Police sharing new information on the arrests of 18-year-old Arthur McCaden and a 14-year-old boy in the deadly shooting and armed robbery at the Canton T-Mobile store. They are accused of killing 23-year-old Fabian Sanchez Gonzalez, an Just employee at the store up. on Boston Street. Police tell 11 News McCaden and the teen went into the store, announced the robbery, and shot Gonzalez. They then demanded property from other people in the store. Announced the robbery and just shot the... Shot the they like, did business. <laughs> like, it's like a movie. Like, we mean business. This is a robbery. Bow! And everybody's like, oh, they mean business. They mean business. <laughs> Damn. At a T-Mobile store, how much money were they expecting? Or are they trying to get the new iPhone? I don't know. They're just retarded. Yeah. Like, I mean, For there's sure. not a yeah. day that goes by where if black 14 year old doesn't fucking murder somebody in this country right <laughs> for fact the most that's dangerous 14 year olds yeah. in the world <laughs> that is yeah. a fact though the i challenge you to find 14 year old children more dangerous than this anywhere in the like even maybe brazil or some shit where they have like child gangs in the favelas you mean but... in the developed world yeah in the developed world yeah yeah, yeah. No, yeah, right. shit. Yeah. Even in parts, most parts of well, Asia and that kind of thing. Well, well, even in Brazil, right? Even in Brazil, if you look at like the, the DNA, right? The like the spectrum, it's the sun. The 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 deeper the the blacker the berry. <laughs> <laughs> the zebacanos, the, the little yeah, zays. The sweet, the sweeter the juice, man. The, the stronger the gunpowder. Yes. I'll listen. They then demanded property from other people in the store before taking off. With the help of witness testimony and working with our other partners, we were able to quickly locate these individuals and place them under arrest for a brazen midday robbery and, and murder uh, in, in a very public place. The 11 News I team has learned the suspects are also accused of an armed robbery in New Jersey. Police in Mount Laurel posted this flyer on social media looking for them along with a silver Acura with temporary tags. Police believe McCaden and the 14-year-old held up a Best Buy store and attempted to steal a little big head motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looked like the big head mode on the video game or something. Yeah, he like looked like eye, yeah. Yeah, he looks like fucking Bushwick Bill and shit. Believe McCaden and the 14-year-old held up a Best Buy store and attempted to steal iPhones. Police in Baltimore are now checking to see if the two are connected to other crimes. We are working to ascertain if one or both of these individuals are responsible for other robberies and for other violent crimes. And so that work is continuing and ongoing as we speak. In the midst of the loss, that people are willing to come together to support the family on one level, but to make a statement about the senseless killings in the city of Baltimore. Members of Fabian Gonzalez's family, church community, and other organizations are planning a peace march for Sunday to honor him and other victims of violent crimes. It's not stop the violence, let's march, let's forget about it next Sunday until we hear another. No, we're going to come up with solutions. Police in New Jersey tell us Baltimore City Police did recover a black handgun and also clothes that witnesses say that McCaden was wearing. Reporting from East Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL TV, 11 News. Man, free him. Oh, he didn't do nothing. Something I've never seen before. Cameron Fridley works at a store near this Holiday Inn Express on Reba Road in Annapolis. Around 2 o'clock, police say that a man shot a woman and another man in the hotel parking lot, then shot himself. Sky Team 11, the only news helicopter in Baltimore, was over the scene. Investigators say the suspect and woman both died at the scene, but the other victim was able to drive himself down the street to the fishing store where Fridley works. He says he heard the gunshots and started to go back inside the store. I... Uh, shut one door of the store and as i shut that the white car comes by who the victim was in 
the white car, the one window was shattered. And he kind of like looked over for help. Brittley says he went to get help from his coworkers and called 911. When we came back out, he was inside the store. And that's when the customer, and along with other people, helped him outside the store and tried to keep him from dying in front of our store. Tried to do the best we could keep him from going into shock and whatnot. When police and medics got there, they took the victim to a hospital, and that's where he later died. Today, we've senselessly lost three individuals to gun violence in our county. We're better than this. Police are now speaking on no, the impact no, this has on the community no. and the families involved. Our hearts are with the families. Um, obviously, you know, they're, they're going to be processing all of this grief and trauma. Um, it's a lot to unpack. It's just a death. And why the fuck is the chief always look like this? God, every he mayor, is. every police chief, every DA, every, like, what the fuck is going on? The ESG, <laughs> man. The ESG going bizarre on. Bizarre world. Yeah, this is, this is bizarre, though. Like, everywhere, the, the prosecutor, right. the fucking mayor, the right. battalion chief. Right. This has on the community and the families. No, no, no. I, the, the, bizarre, the bizarre part is that this lady here on the screen would still talk about racism. Yada, like, oh, definitely. racism. You're the chief. As soon as they, soon as anybody criticizes her, she's going there. She's going there reflexively. Families, um, obviously, you know, they're, they're going to be processing all of this grief and trauma. Um, it's a lot to unpack. It's just a devastating loss in our community. Fridley says this is a nice area, and the whole situation comes as a shock. Now he's praying for the families. I'm sorry for everyone that's involved. It's a sad situation on everyone's aspect of it. Hey, Hank Hill sounds normal. In the person. police have not said the relationship between the three people involved, nor that they give a motive. But, of course, all of this is part.